While a trip to Mars may still be a few years away, a group of Canadian researchers are setting out on their own mission to spend eight days in a simulation of the red planet's habitat, all from the safety of Hawaii. Right now, for flight crews who go to the space station, whatever, the majority of the um, flying and decision-making and such is actually done at mission control because communications are pretty much instantaneous, back and forth. Um, but in Mars, there will be about a 40-minute delay. So now you need people doing much more demanding tasks, and we need to make sure they're making the right decisions every time. The more fatigued you get, we know that you get worse, 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 and, and even if you drink lots of coffee, your performance does continue to get worse. Um, and then at some point, you sort of fall off sort of a, a performance cliff where you start making bad decisions and, and crit critical errors. And so what we're going to be doing is measuring cognitive fatigue um, using uh, a Muse headband. You can buy them at Best Buy for $199. Um, and uh, measuring brain function and then trying to use those, those measures to predict when people's performance is about to drop off due to fatigue. The team leaves on November 28th and will be blogging their experience at destinationmars.ca. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.